Hey there, I'd like to show you how to check the gearbox oil on your 60 heavy duty broom or something comparable. This is on my 1025R and this gearbox oil is supposed to be checked every 25 hours. And uh, it's kind of nestled in here, which is a little bit difficult to get to. And I had to make some unique, a unique wrench to get to it. That uh, plug right there is what you're going to try to take out. First of all, you want to blow the dirt away, which I've done. Some of it's kind of stuck there, but you want any of that loose dirt blown away. So you can actually um, check without getting any dirt falling in. And then you're going to need a special wrench. I wasn't able to get in with a socket. So I had to make my own wrench. And here we have uh, 5 8 which is the size that my plug is. 5 8 wrench. And I had this, this box combination wrench. And um, this is what it was. It had that angle already. And then I added of course several angles to it this one and that one by heating it and bending it I thought it might break but it didn't and so um, in order to get in here a socket and ratchet just is too high and it hits on here and so uh, this this worked and then I can I can uh, turn that and that really uh, really works well so this is my new uh, John Deere broom wrench that I'll be using okay and that will take that plug out welcome back to the handy handy channel today we're removing a plug from our broom 60 heavy duty broom on our 1025R and we had to make like my dad said, we had to make a, a new wrench, and there's the plug. I also have made a funnel. This funnel was too big, and so I took some uh, tubing that I had here, and I just I found a piece that would fit over the end of the funnel, and then that was still too big, of course, to go in the little hole. But then I, I stuck another piece of tube in there, and I... It was fairly tight, but I crimped them together with zip ties. All right, so mm -hmm. then I can uh, pretty easily get that down in there. There's our hole. Yep. Okay, and then this goes right nicely in the hole. Okay, and then this is the uh, the gear lube that you're supposed to put in there. GL5. It's a full synthetic, um, good for winter use, and um, that's uh, it's a little spendy, but that's the right stuff for the. You don't need a lot of it. That'll last you a long time. And uh, anyway, mine doesn't need any right now, but uh, you just fill that. Don't overfill it. Okay. Now, how in the world do you know when you put enough in? The, the book says it should be about two inches. I think it was uh, 1.8 to two inches from the, uh, from the top of the box, from the top of the gearbox. The oil level should be approximately two inches. So again, I made my own dipstick and um, so first of all, let's look at that at the dipstick here. When I stick this in, it bottoms out here and you have to kind of stick it in on an angle. So I've factored for that. And here is where your plug would go. Basically that's where, as far as it goes in, this bottoms out at the bottom when you're putting it on an angle. You can't put it in straight because it just hits the gears. So you won't get a measurement. So this is approximately the angle that I'm sticking it in. And so if you can see going straight this way two inches is about the top of that green tape if you can get that uh, idea there so the uh, two inches 
at the top would be about right here. You know, you can kind of get that idea. So putting it in on an angle, the green is the good, the good zone, okay? For your oil check. Okay, so let's see how long our dipstick is. Mine ended up being um, four and a quarter inches approximately. And that's where it bottomed out on an angle and gave me the, the good reading of my oil level. Okay, so let's stick it in. Okay, so I'm sticking this uh, dipstick in on just a little bit of an angle because otherwise it hits the gears, as I said. And this goes down, you can see, um, you can see that yellow tape, it bottoms out, I'm bottomed out on the bottom. And then I pull it out. And where's my oil level? Well, anyway, it's about in the middle of the green. It's hard to tell in the light. But it is about the middle of the green tape. And you can see it dripping there. So anyway, my level is should be good. So that's the dipstick I made for that job. And I'll keep that. So those are some, some cool things. You could use a funnel like this if you want to build, build that. But yeah, that's a, a good idea there just to uh, do that. All right, so here's the plug that uh, I took out and it has a little vent hole. You can see that little pin hole there. That is something you wanna make sure is open. So I would recommend blowing some air in, in this part right here on that end and making sure some uh, air comes out that hole. I could feel it a little bit when I blew in there. I could just feel it on my finger. And so that, that way you know it's open because if that's plugged, you're gonna blow a seal um, especially if you add oil, which would, uh, anyway, the pressure would build up in there and you don't want that. That'll cause you trouble. So you want to make sure that vent plug is open and, uh, we're going to put that back in and that should, um, should cover it. All right. So, um, those are some of the tools that you've got here. You can make a little dipstick and a 5 8 wrench and a funnel especially for that all right so that should do it for today thanks for watching and uh hope your uh your brooming goes well take care